people, today we're gonna talk about AI art. Yes, robots are coming for everything. Your jobs, your art, and your blue light filter glasses. They, they help a lot, but they surely do look ugly on me, I can't lie. For those of you who are still using Internet Explorer, let me tell you about AI art. Well, I guess these people won't see this video until 2027, so I think they're all right, but... AI art is basically when you type in a few words into a program and boom! boom. Now you got a whole ass masterpiece on your hands. <laughs> or not. It's, it's actually kind of a 50-50, I can't lie. And as with every single topic on the internet, there are a lot of people advocating for and against it. Let's see where the people stand on this one. AI can surely open new creative ways for artists to do something, to make something happen that they that they couldn't before but also at the same time it kind of takes the away the soul of the painting you know let's say you're a photographer or a painter you, you want to put your soul into it you want to put your heart into it you go through certain lengths to get these beautiful pictures and then AI can just do it with a few words few clicks and that's it this is the main problem people have with AI because it takes away all the creativity but has a similar outcome. There are some individuals who really enjoy this AI creating stuff. AI can also help expand artists' ideas. So artists can use AI for just another tool to help. But hold your paintbrushes, AI can actually be pretty dangerous too. How, you might ask? Well, AI art might actually take your jobs. <laughs> well, oh no. If you're an artist and AI can replicate your stuff perfectly, that's a problem. What the hell do you do then? That is, is done. Might as well go learn programming, program the AI yourself and then see what happens. <laughs> but how does AI art work? For this, I actually said myself, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to generate me a picture. And this is what I put in. Generate me a painting of a frog running into a wall and a fly next to it laughing. And this is the result. There are some kind of limitations as you can see. Ah oh, yes, here we have a hyperbolic allegory of life's relentless pursuit of ambition. Only to be met with the impenetrable barrier of reality. All set against an ironically serene and picturesque backdrop that underscores the absurdity of personal struggle within an uncaring world. First of all, that's not a fly. That is certainly not a fly. Yeah. And second of all, where is the laughing part? The frog is laughing, but the bee is just saying happy, but with one P and three Y's. You see the problem? There, there's some some stuff that just didn't work out. That like, there's no fly here. That's a bee. Clearly, there it, it isn't hard to to make a fly. You created a more complicated thing, a bee more details than a fly. And the frog is not running into the wall, it's running alongside it. So, so yeah, you get what I mean? It's not really perfect. I mean, it's great for people like me who have nothing to show on family gatherings. I'm not talented enough for anything else. You know, just look at this masterpiece. No, no human could think of this. Is that the pig from Angry Birds? And why is the nose the eye? What's going on here? <laughs> but I ask myself the question, can I actually identify AI art from human art. I took the test and you can see the result on my second channel. AI can look very realistic and there's a reason for that. Most AI models use databases of already existing pictures, images, paintings, everything, art in general, and transform something new out of these. Now the question is, is that fine by copyright laws? I don't know. So I need you guys to tell me in the comments because I really couldn't find it if, the, if it's a problem or not. Because I feel like it should be a problem copyright wise, you know, if you take stuff from other paintings and put it in there. But let me know in the comments because I really, I really don't know. At the end of the day, AI is just another way for humans to create something. Sometimes it looks good, sometimes it looks bad. And some of it makes you question your existence. But as long as it's not coming from my job as the number one creator on this platform, we're good. Can't, can't really back myself here, I can't lie. My subs say otherwise, but I still believe in myself, okay? We're getting there. But we're not getting there. Let me know what you think because this debate is far from over. The internet is still like, it's been a debate for a year or two years and it's still going strong. Everybody's still debating like, is AI art problematic? Is it harmful for artists or is it just beneficial for artists? My take on the situation is, it does more harm than good, I think. Like, it, it takes away a lot of creativity, but at the same time, we're not at a point where AI can replace everything, you know? No AI in the world could make a video like mine. 
that's just a fact. It's not that I'm really good, but but you, but you couldn't replicate it because I'm authentic in here. I'm me, you know, I'm myself talking to you. I'm not a model replicating me talking to you. Do you get what I mean? Well, you can also let me know in the comments if my if my content is bad enough to be replicated by AI, and I'm sure the answer will be yes, but especially this softbox, brother. If this softbox could be replicated by AI, please, brother, this shit ain't working. Every single video. Anyway, see you guys in a bit, and subscribe to my second channel for more content of me, and let's see what I post next, yeah?